Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this uh, this is a fast lesson. We're doing uh, solving multi-step problems using some equations. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, begin. Our, our essential question is, uh, how can we represent and solve multi-step problems using equations? Okay, and so the common core strand is right there. So here we go. Scott's computer has four memory cards, uh, each with 64 gigabytes of space. Uh, and uh, three memory cards uh, with 16 uh, gigabytes of space each. So the file on his computer, the files on his computer uses 92 gigabytes of space. So how much memory does his computer have? Okay, all right, so uh, let's just break it down by sentence by sentence here. So let's underline the important information. So Scott's computer has four memory cards and they all have 64 megabytes. So I'm gonna underline that. And then he has uh, three memory cards on there with 16 gigabytes, so that's important also. And then, then his uh, his files on his computer use uh, 92 gigabytes, so those things I'm going to underline right there, okay? And then uh, we're going to go ahead and use uh, multi-step single uh, uh, multiple, sorry, single-step equations here. So, so right here uh, we have uh, four memory cards with 64 gigabytes right here. So here's my four memory cards and they each have 64 gigabytes right there, okay? We can add up 64 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64 or we can multiply. It's easier just to multiply you guys 64 times 4 and I get 256, okay? So that's how much he has on these four memory cards with 64 gigabytes right there, okay? And then so I just moved that up there. So how much memory card is on his three memory cards, or how much memory, sorry, is on his three memory cards that have 16 gigabytes, okay? So here's his three memory cards with 16 gigabytes. Again, we can just add 16 plus 16 plus 16, or we can multiply 16 times 3, and we get 48 right there. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get his total memory. His total memory is his 256, and then plus the 48 right there. So when we go ahead and add that together, we get 304 gigabytes of total memory that he has on there. Okay, now we got to go ahead and answer the question right here. So the question's asking, okay, remember the files on his computer use 94 gigabytes of space. So how much uh, how much uh, memory does he have left on his computer? Okay, well, there's a total of 304 gigabytes of space on there. So the files uh, take up 92 uh, gigabytes of space. So, so here we go. We got um, uh, the 304 represents all the space that he has on his computer. And this chunk right here, the 92, is what's taking up. And so we have this much left. So you guys I'm probably can guess what we're going to do. We're going to subtract these two numbers right here. So 304 minus 92. Okay, so when we go ahead and subtract, I get uh, we get 212 gigabytes of space left on his computer. Okay, so Scott has 212 gigabytes of memory left on his computer. All right, well, let me show you another way here. First, is and we're going to use what's called order of operations here. Order of operations is just a special set of rules that gives us the order in which we do calculations. So whenever you have uh, expressions, we do the multiplying and dividing first. And whichever comes first, and so oh, we we just have multiplying here. But if division came first, we would we <laughs> tongue twister. We do whatever comes uh, from left to right, and same with addition and or subtraction. You do what uh, comes from left to right first. If subtraction came before addition, I would I would do that first. Okay. All right, so here we go, you guys. Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and use a multi-step equation right here. Here's my four memory cards of 64. Here's my three memory cards of 16. And then here's the 92 um, uh, gigabytes right here that uh, that's on the computer already, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 64 times 3. I'm going to add that with 6, I'm sorry, 64 times 4, sorry. I'm going to add that with 16 times 3. And then when I, whatever that answer is, I'm going to take off the 92 right there. So we have, I just moved it up right there. Okay, so four, four cards of 64. We're going to add three cards of 16, and then we're going to subtract 92. So if you were given this expression without the word problem right here, the order of operations says I have to do multiplication first. So I'm going to do the 4 times 64 right there. Okay, and we already did that. That's 256. All right, and then I just, I'm going through. The next thing I'm going to do is the next multiplication. You don't add. Do not add right here. We've got to do this multiplication next. 3 times 16 is 48. Okay, so there's my 256 and 48. Now I'm going to go ahead and add from left to right or subtract. If subtract came first, then I'd do that. But the addition comes first, so I'm going to add 256 
plus 48, that gives us 304. Okay, and now we can go ahead and do 304 minus 92 is 212. Okay, nice fast lesson, you guys. So there's 212 gigabytes left on this computer. Okay, I hope that makes sense, you guys, and hope you're having a fantastic year. Take care, everybody.